being that we live in Florida, your rock hounding options are pretty limited to parking lot, landscaping, uh, stuff like that. So we're back in Utah, where we're both originally from, visiting some fam friends and family. Decided to come do some rock hounding uh, so we could mail ourselves back some stuff to tumble. And came out here, we're in central Utah, just in the middle of the desert, and we're just striking out, striking out. Came to this little uh, hidden gem and just kind of stumbled upon. I mean, you can't go more than a few feet without tripping on a agate. These super red iron, I'm guessing, just beautiful um, red agates and then I don't even know what these things are or if they're gonna polish but we started coming across these and I don't know if they're just a different type of agate but they're clear they look like they're concrete with a bunch of little baby rocks in it but when you get it wet it goes transparent so I don't even know what this is it's like a, almost like a what we'll send some of these back and see what happens this is times like this where I wish I had a rock saw for the field so but this is a nice little collection that we're gonna do our flat rate boxes bust it up and uh, shine them see see what we get but I mean I can just walk over in any direction really and it doesn't take long before I mean here's one right here so just awesome spot so we'll see what else we're gonna keep exploring and see if we see anything else but so far worth the trip what do you think All right, well, <laughs> we might have to make a couple trips. We had to start getting a little more selective. These don't look like much because they're dry now, but you know, we wetted most of them down. And it's either reds, oranges, clear, and just, you know, a lot of really cool patterns. I'm really interested to see what these turn out to be. They look, and they're hard. I tried scratching them and they, they don't scratch. So it looks like it's just quartz with a bunch of other like smaller kind of crystals embedded in it. Something I've never really seen them before. Like this one, well, we were finding these, we were finding these things bigger than basketballs. Um, you know, we didn't break any of them up, but it's just crazy. So I need to do a little more research or if somebody knows what the heck it is. Just, yeah, so we're gonna see how much of this we can carry to the car. We may or may not be done for the day. Let's take a view. We're in the middle of nowhere, uh, two hours away from anybody. So, if you want to be a successful rock hound, the thing you got to remember is always keep your car keys in your pocket and not in the trunk locked. So. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how much this is going to cost us, but we were out of options. All of our food and water is sitting right there. <laughs> it's about 100 degrees. So, it looks like we're breaking a window. <laughs> Never broken into a car before. I'm surprised the alarm didn't go off yet. If nothing else, I'm impressed with the durability in this window. <laughs> Let's see if this one works. That was oddly satisfying. <laughs> So our first attempt to mail ourselves rocks, mixed reviews, 
Uh, it's about 25-ish bucks per box. We completely loaded them with uh, agates and jasper and stuff that we found in Utah. And two of them have arrived. They both look like they've been pre-tumbled. Um, dust and all kinds of stuff just flying out of these. So these boxes do not hold up well at all. This one came just like this. I mean, you can... I'm, it's probably about five pounds lighter than what we sent it. Also got a nice earful from the mail carrier. She was not pleased with our packaging job. And I, I didn't bother to tell her that it was us that loaded them. I would just, you know, let her, let her rant about the idiots that filled the boxes with rock. We got all of our rocks back from our trip to Utah. Thinking we got mostly some agatized jaspers, some petrified wood, and some weird conglomerate looking thing that we haven't quite figured out yet. So we just made a little test batch of some of the ones that were small enough to just tumble right out the gate. Uh, this is one of those kind of crazy conglomerates, but almost seems like it's made of agate in between, so we don't know what it is. But for the most part, these are pretty wet. Just rinsed them. Um, I think we should get some fun results, so we're putting it in the first roughing stage with some 36 grit in the barrel tumbler. Probably give it about a week and we'll see what we get. This is the first batch of some of the rocks we brought back from Utah. How gooey is that one? About the same. It's pretty, pretty Hold icky. That That's okay. It'll go back on. It's more like a slushy. Okay. Extreme close up. Oh, no way. This is one of those uh, conglomerate ones. Oh my gosh, yeah, clean that stuff up. That's fun. Everything's fun. I realized I say that a lot. Ooh, that's fun. Oh, look at this one. That's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what this is, but we have about 30 pounds of it. Look at that one. So pretty. Holy cow. I'd say we scored on that trip, huh? I think so. Worth a $300 window. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's really that's cool. Gorgeous. It's got a lot of fun. I need a new word. Wow. Mm-hmm. It's There's just so, so much colors. happening in there. Mm-hmm. And of course, you know, they're not gonna look this cool once they dry, but that's a pretty good start. I almost think mm -hmm. half of these, almost this entire batch, I think we could put back in. That's fun. I like this one a lot. Yeah, that's the one that you picked up, right? In uh, Bear Lake? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure that's the one you got in Bear Lake. Oh yeah, that's cool. I like it. Yeah, conglomerate. Mm. Um, mm. I think that's the one I got in Bear Lake. Maybe. No, it was this blackish this? round one. No. That one? That one. Maybe. I don't know. I got to look at the originals, but that's crazy. There's mm -hmm. all those little red Crackers. pockets in there. Mm, it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. That's cool. That's when they, these are the, that big, mm -hmm. huge chunks. I, like I wasn't this. sure if they were going to polish or not, but man, they're, they're cool. really getting cool. Yeah. Just like a weird alien rock. Oh, what's this one? Uh, same yeah. kind of thing. Cool. All right. That's freaking look at this great. That looks like a Ooh, galaxy. That's, that's gonna get really shiny. Yeah. I say we put this thing in for another, the big chunks mm -hmm. for another week. Pretty much just like this. Mm 